Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Empire Strikes Back multiplayer Europa Universalis 4 series. I'm your host, Galvin. Joining me, as always, is Mar Brazil and the Prussian Prince. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hello. I think we need to change this title <laughs> from Empire Strikes Back to Empire Gets Terribly Murdered. Oh, cool. <laughs> like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll give up my my attempts at vassalizing Hes uh, at uh, which moves it's Friesland for you. All right. One. One loss in a war doesn't mean it's gonna right, have to I'm unpausing. I slowed it down to speed two. Yeah, right. I'll start adding some shows, but I'll cancel it if they start moving or something. Don't worry, they're down to five dudes. I can beat them now. All God right, it, I'm hurrying some then. God damn it, Clevs. You're useless. My vessels. So they... now I can actually maybe get something out of this war, at least. Mm. Oh, remember, we can get artillery soon. Yeah, soon. Um, oh, wait, Brandenburg is in this war, too. Yes, right. that's... Uh, yes. If so you can I could siege up their territory. You have to take their capital. That's the yeah, other thing. We need to not finish this war then, because that would circumvent their alliance with Austria. That's that's part of the idea here. That's like I said, I gave up the only my, way. Like I said, I gave up my uh, attempt at uh, vassalizing Hesse, uh, Friesland for you, pretty much. You're welcome. I accidentally dragged you into this, so I guess uh, it's part of my responsibility to get you out. Right, I'm recruiting some troops then. Well, you... well that's not going to work. Because I have no way of dragging my vassals out of that. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I think yeah, Marvel Zero, if you send some units, perhaps the vassals will leave. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> And my king acting... is still not friggin' dead. He's over 60 years old now. Come God on. Damn. But yeah, this is this is kind of the problem here. My vassals are Yeah, actually if you do take over a siege, they seem to leave, so. Mm. That's that means you can go push them out. I'm waiting yeah. to get any troops whatsoever right now. Yeah. That's why are my vassals so goddamn retarded in this game? Oh like... hey, I actually got a good general now. Two oh, in man. fire, two in shock, one in siege. Is it Bieber number two? Nope. That explains why. It's Boris von Rath or whatever. Sounds boring. Boris? I like Bieber more. It. Hey, Boris sounds pretty cool. I think. No, it sounds boring, I mean. Alright, so yeah, you, <laughs> just, you just gotta get some troops over to Brandenburg now and take over the siege. Doing what I can. Meanwhile, I'm just watching and enjoying this war. It's like... Yeah, are you enjoying the show? Yes. <laughs> Did you bring your popcorn? I, again, Marvel Zero, also, I apologize. I need to do something about Altmark being occupied. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to push my vassal out of Brandenburg for you. Yeah, there. Alright. Because I wasn't 100% certain if it would work for you pushing them out. But I know I can push them out, so. And there you go. My vassals will take care of Altmark for you. My vassals are so strong, like, together they're yeah. stronger than me. They have You, you can't seem to push out my vassals, <laughs> only I can do that for some reason. It's like my vassals are, like, op yeah. opposite friggin' or the same magnetic <laughs> charge as me or something. Yes. It's like, they refuse to be in the same province as me. Like, god damn it. This is more retarded than usual. All right. You guys mind if I take home? Because it sounds... I mean, it's tasty. Eh, go ahead. If you can uh, pull that off, it's all yours. Unfortunately, it means the Empire of Ulm will be no more. Just make sure you have a constant spilly or else. Yes, and I'll drag you guys in the war and and then there, we'll have Austria in the war and we'll come and siege your provinces. <laughs> yeah. That wouldn't be nice. You will have to negotiate this entire deal though. Yeah, I know. Once you get Brandenburg's capital, because as it stands they'd become my vassal. 
Like, I suppose I could be a jerk and do that, but... I, 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 I think I'd prefer to just give it to them. The sex and he still there we go me. I got it oh wait what me. your vassal had the lead I think no it's, oh, it's no, only... occupied by me right oh, yeah occupied by sex we just look yeah. identical yeah yeah I just looked at the color yeah it just we we just look bloody identical it it's seems. a little bit different but it looks the same to me sex and vassal <laughs> and I'm apparently even paying the uh, well, okay, it said I was paying the uh, diplomatic power for that, but it lied. Because I didn't lose any, so. And... There you go. There. Yeah. See, it all worked out for everyone in the end. You got Brandenburg as a vassal, I yeah, got Brunswick as a vassal. But next time, check the, like, <laughs> manpower of whoever you're attacking. Yeah, that, that that's something. Yes, I was figuring, you know... It's, there's no way they had over 20,000. I was like, eh. Hey, I could actually get my second idea group now. Yeah. But Ooh. it's four years ahead of time. Yeah, I'm at 702 out of 820 on that. I still don't have Adamant Tech level 6 because I've been making course. <laughs> I should probably, instead of doing that, there, better, Let's boost my stability up. Back and up Pomerania zero. is still at war. Yeah, what yeah, does they, Bohemia they, want? They managed to put up quite the uh, fight against Bohemia, I give them that. Oh, there we yeah. go. What happened? And the what grand total of that war was, according to the log... Muscovy will end the vassalization of Perm. Muscovy will pay 60 ducats. That was it? What? Yeah, apparently. Because Muscovy has been the war leader. Yeah. Manpower. Yeah. Or troops total. Yeah, what Muscovy was the war leader, I'd suppose. Yeah. And they ended up losing because Pomerania lost. <laughs> they lost yeah. that instead. Well, I guess that explains how uh, Pomerania held out so long. Oh, only uh, minus 154 aggressive expansion. Yeah, only. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I'm coming to a point where it doesn't matter anymore. This no coalition of nations that could stop me, that care. France? France Austria. doesn't care. <laughs> France doesn't seem yep. to give a crap. Denmark actually gave a bit of a crap, but uh. You know. You never know what might happen in this game. Watch Castile yeah. get personal union with France. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I've seen it happen. Not in my games, fortunately. Yeah. Like I said. Unless, Ooh. uh, you know. I think it would, it would take some ridiculous Ooh. amount of, uh, coalitioning for things to go. And right Ottomans. now there is no coalition against me, it looks like. Ottomans might take Athens because they're at war with Mamluks, <laughs> so it, the the borders might look better, more beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This this minus 173 aggressive expansion of Hesse is not letting me have a positive opinion of you. <laughs> yeah. At all. Well, I'm sorry. But I just get the kind of so, jerk I am. So if I declare war on Ulm, apparently they will ca call upon Ulm to defend them. That makes sense. They will also call upon Bavaria. Yes, and Switzerland. But why would they... You yeah, might as well get claims on, on uh, like <laughs> the nearby Bavarian provinces while you're at it. So yes. well, you can take those too if you want. Yeah, the coalition war. Yeah. You can only grab what you got claims on, so you might as well claim the other stuff. Yep. And when I have military tech level 7, that's when I'll uh, start uh, with the war, I guess. 
That's when I'll start it. But I hate theocracy. I want to switch. I guess it does it have to be through war or something. I don't I'm not know. sure. Perfect. Bigger just declare war on someone? Yep. This time I'm not worried. Oh, okay. It's the Holdenberg, <laughs> Gallery, yeah. and the Hansa. I think you Armor. like wars, confirm? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Marvel's is probably like, wait, wait, where's. Who's he at war with? I hope I'm not at war with that person. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Well, I'm about to declare war myself, so. There we go. Have at it. I do hope I won't regret it by Boscovi coming here to kick my ass. Don't worry. I'll back you up against Muscovy. Sorry, but it's it's just too delicious. I'm going to get the Hansa as a vassal, for goodness sakes. Ooh. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, exactly. I'm also gonna get Oldenburg. And by proxy, yeah. Gelray, because they're in personal union. But, I mean, Hansa, they probably have like 10,000 troops or something. They do. <laughs> I'm beating them right now with my 20,000. You see, there's so few enemy provinces that my vassals actually have to intersect me at certain points. So I can beat them. Yay! <laughs> exactly. I guess you just have to take more. <laughs> And yeah, pretty much. They'll help you more. Alright, my vassals are goddamn dumbasses, though. Successful embassy. Flee? And there we go. That's 100% occupation. Well, at least the sieges are in motion now. They can't train troops, so it's a win. Aw, oh, damn, I can't actually get the Hansa as a vassal, can I? No. Okay, Pomerania has military tech 6, and I only have 5. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that might backfire if I declare war. <laughs> yes. They do actually have seven regiments already. Oh wait, yeah, you're still on five because of your crappy leader. I'm almost at yeah, seven. Yeah, <laughs> my king just refuses to die and he has zero in military. He's friggin' 63 years old now. Are you serious right now? <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, at this rate, my heir is going to die before my ruler does. It is super serial, bro. Well, I've had that happen before. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the time when my heir got on the throne at like 60 years old or something. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. And then he died almost immediately after and you lost it stability as a result. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delightful. At least you really have Meteor hit your Regency Council. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Double stability loss on ruler death for some random reason. That's just perfect. Eh, yeah, sure, I can accumulate money, I guess. Earning a fair bit. Well, it's super tempting to attack them, but yeah. Well, I can offer you backup in a form of a bunch of swarmlings. Swarmlings? <laughs> That's really what I'm coming if to call my vassals to come at this join, point. Then, well, definitely attack them. This is the best moment to do that because they are weakened after that coalition war. Uh, sure. E my, op I just have to improve my opinion of you. Hang on. All right. Or wait, wait. You mean you're attacking Pomerania? Yeah. Yep. Are you so. sure they're allied with Poland? What? what? Yes. They weren't the last I checked. Oh, damn it. They have to get that literally right now. <laughs> I checked uh. it like one month ago. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. Well, the window closed. Uh. Now it's too late already. I'm sorry. That's... Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Never mind that plan. Yeah. That's unfortunate.
the uh, yeah. just a little bit. I guess you have to go for Bohemia, but it's your I ally. I with them, so... Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, let's face it here. I mean, uh, Prussian Prince was allied with Bavaria. Attacking his ally works out pretty well for him. <laughs> yes. Poland has 33,000 troops. Yeah. What? Yeah. Check Poland's alliances. I let you see that. Lithuania, is France, wow. and Pomerania. Yep, they are allied with France. <laughs> Very nice. That could end screwed. poorly. Yeah. And I actually need two of their provinces if I want to ever wow. form Prussia. Whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds easy. I got invited <laughs> to a war. Did you get invited too? No. Nope. The nation of Bohemia, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Austrian conquest of Salzburg against Austria. What? This is a defensive war where we need to help Austria our ally. Austria attacked Salzburg. Oh, Bohemia is at yeah. war with Austria. Okay, I might want I to break to... that alliance. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. decline it. Really? <laughs> and I lost yeah, prestige. Yeah, I would do the same. It's... Yeah. What, you don't want to fight Austria? Yeah, Support your but... body, Bohemia. <laughs> it's Bohemia. I think I can take him. Now. Yeah, so, this is Bohemia the moment. Will lose. <laughs> yeah, All after right. being their ally for so long, let's backstab them. In the, in no, the most. I was I was kind of hoping that you'd stick around for that because I'd just be like, "All right, well, this is a good opportunity for us to uh, break up Austria." Yeah, right now Austria has forty-eight thousand troops, and Bohemia has fifteen thousand. Oh. So I think it's pretty clear who's going to win this. My and ruler. Austria has military tech six, while Bohemia has five. Yeah, but yeah. this is pretty good. I have a ruler with 543 now. Yay. Hooray. And I'm sitting here with my crappy zero military skill ruler. <laughs> hey, I'm, I've, I've been forced with that too. But my king's only 37, so it's not quite as long as yours. I mean, I've had like two or three rulers at least. In the course of this. Oh yeah, my ruler is actually play. better than <laughs> yours, which is impressive. Yeah. But mine's quite good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, send him my way. So, so, I, so I what's your guy up to now? You. 70 years old? Yeah, my guy 64, is like... Not bad. 64. And the air? How old is the air? 30 something. Mm. 33. <laughs> So rare. He's like, oh, I can't get on the throne. Why? Mm. It should just give you some sort of way to kill your own ruler if he lives for too long. Control it a little we bit need, more, I guess. <laughs> we need Crusader King's 2 suicide button. <laughs> so, if the AI actually manages to form Commonwealth and they stay allied with France, we might have some problems with that. <laughs> no. Yes. Imagine. That's just like a boss fight. <laughs> and then imagine they ally with Austria too. That would be fun. Mm. Well, Austria is already allied with Lithuania. What happens mm. with alliances when Commonwealth forms? I, I don't know. Do they I, get yeah. like merged or something? Um, I think I'm it's fairly the certain that, that the uh, controlling nation keeps yeah. their alliances. Mm. Yes. So, so Commonwealth so. will be allied with France and Pomerania. But wouldn't it be Poland that keeps its? Yeah, it would be allied with with, with France and Pomerania. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, you're right. I think so. Too. Well, we still have a lot of time before that happens. If it happens. Mm, yes. Right, so I won't be attacking Pomerania, that's for sure. I only need 14 more years to integrate my personal union partner. Oh, it's getting better for you. I keep forgetting that they moved the annexed vassal from dynastic to influence. Yeah, me too. Eh? But oh, I, I yeah. couldn't find it in one of the other episodes. I kept looking for it. Where the heck is it? <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too a while back. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take them both. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have them in by August 1483. So this is it's actually even less than seven years. <laughs> this is this is this is just glorious. Right. So, so I'm going to speed this up to speed free. Yeah. So Utrecht. Oh, how's that war going? I I won it. Even better. Utrecht was uh, attacking Gelray at the time that I took them as a vassal. So now I get Utrecht as a vassal. Yay. Yes. And your diplomatic relations will go through the roof. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of resigned to that already. I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> what are you locked anyway? I am currently up to only one over right now, actually. Okay. That's because I got level three of the uh, diplo thing. So seven out of six, or what? Yeah, seven out of six, and I'm about to be eight out of six. So. Hmm. That's fine. Like I said, I'm not all that worried. Oh, my cusp belief against Wurzburg for Imperial Liberation is expiring. That sounds like a good Cass's belly. You should use this this Cass's belly against me. <laughs> Just 23 of my vassals are sitting in Gelray as opposed to attaching my army. Damn, useless. So right now, basically, I'll be just sitting, waiting for my annexation of my vassal and personal yeah. union. I'm waiting for military tech level 7, and then I'll go for Ulm. And I'll be fighting against Palatinate. And Bavaria. Yeah, it sounds and like, Switzerland. Uh, sounds like you can take... Well, you, no, you can't take uh, Bavaria as a vassal yet, but... You can cut them down to size to the point you can. Yeah. Bohemia is actually doing okay against Austria. Technically, well, they are, they have twenty-seven. They occupied case. one province. Yeah, but Austria has a twenty-seven k stack yeah. sieging Bavmer Vault. Interestingly enough. So what if I said that I had a way for us to go to war with Pomerania without bringing in Poland or How? Muscovy? Well, they oh, just joined they the coalition against someone me. Someone they are allied with, right? It's, no. Well, yes, they're in the coalition against me. So are oh, other okay. people, though. So that, that might work out. Ugh, what the hell am I gonna take? Well, here? I do have a claim on Blunenburg. Yeah. I should probably fabricate more claims. Yeah, you should at least get one on Rupin, since those are the two you can get at, and Mecklenburg. Yeah, maybe. I'm doing that now. Uh. And so then we yeah. could go to war with Denmark, who's allied with Lithuania. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and expand it, into Sweden and Norway. Whoa, look at France. They took Girona from Aragon. Uh -huh, and look at France happen. in Italy. Look at France in Italy. Oh, dear Lord. What the frick is France doing over there? <laughs> God damn it. Whoa. I'm just sitting here debating what idea to take. Oh. Or well, at, at least it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some coastal provinces for us. Yeah. Basically, yeah. the one I plan to attack is the Hansa, once a tr a truce expires mm. with them. Once I have a truce expiration with them, uh, I'll attack the Hansa. Why is Lorraine sieging itself? That's what I can see. What? Lorraine yeah. is... I see them sieging Lothringen. <laughs> I, this I looks know. weird. Like there I see their 2k stack, and then I see artillery firing. I don't see the artillery the city. firing. Oh, I, I think you're having a visual bug there, buddy. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Because if I click on the province, it's not actually sieging. It doesn't say there's defender attacker. Or so anything. I can get my next idea group. I'm thinking Defensive because ideas sound I'm... good, but yeah. I, Zero at this point, military skill. At this point, I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, like a military idea, or actually maybe economic idea. I'm the emperor, so I have theoretically like 30 troops if I could afford them. Ooh, Serbia's so, about to get annexed by Bosnia, by the way. <laughs> that'll happen. Yeah. Yeah. There they go. So I'm thinking maybe I should pick up economic ideas. Mm, yes. Pretty good stuff. 
Like, if I hold on to Emperorship, which I probably will. Nope. Oh. Utrecht fell. We do have some nasty... Nasty enemies waiting for us. <laughs> In the future. Yeah. yeah. So, what was your plan for Pomerania again? Uh, once my truce with the Hansa is up, I can directly attack them. Whose allies number the nothing. But they're in the coalition wait. against me, which would bring in Denmark and Pomerania. Wait, wait, wait. How? You actually took Lauenburg? Yep. I'm going to be releasing that in a moment. Denmark is not super strong. They only have 16,000 and, like, zero manpower. I, I only took Laurenburg, so that way I could release them. I, I seriously need, like, military level 6 before a major war. I'm close, okay. but I'm only getting 4 free military points per month. I'm soon gonna be building artillery. And my ruler yeah. just refuses to die. 65 years yeah. old. Come on, game. Yeah, the game's just trolling you at this point. Yeah, clearly. Wow. I'm trying to find an older ruler just to make myself feel better. <laughs> not likely. <laughs> but that's not happening. Everyone is like 20, 30 years old. All right, King so of Denmark is 19. I have oh, nine vessels. Ferrara. Look at Ferrara. The 74 year old ruler. Mm -hmm. Okay. 71. 71. That makes me feel better. Or worse, <laughs> if my king lives that long. Mm. Yes. And 66-year-old uh, Montuan ruler. Well, wow, boy, they li they live a lot in Italy, I guess. Yeah. The long so, life. Minus 292 aggressive expansion. Sounds fun. Mm. So everyone loves you, basically. Pretty much. Oh god, I think it's time to uh, go into the diplomatic relations map mode again. <laughs> oh lord. Do I dare look? Why not? Oh, look in Tsava. 62 year old ruler as well. well. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Every, that's the diplomatic. I want the opinion map mode. Damn it. Wrong one. I'm not sure if you want to look at that one. Well, on the plus side, Africa is yellow with me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Castile is requesting military alliance from us. What, what do they want it for? What? From that far away. What? Yeah, They're not even at war with someone with an HRE. That's okay, weird. I'm gonna decline. That's really weird. Oh man. Yeah, I think I'll pass some military ideas because I'll need all these points to actually catch up in military it's... tech. Yeah. Because you still have a zero military. I might just go for economic, still honestly. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I, I decided to go with economic because the big limiter for me on troops right now because I'm the Emperor is just, you know, money. Yeah, I think oh, I'll go for economic too. I just got... And the plus one possible advisor bonus later on is actually really nice. Because it's easier to get all the advisors that you actually need. I can now make artillery. What's your oh. military tag? Oh, seven already. Yes. Mm. And I'm sitting here with five. Okay. I'll have 12,000 troops, four of which will be artillery, <laughs> two cav, and the rest infantry. Wow. Yeah, Friesland. Austria is at seven, too. Friesland, aggressive expansion, minus 351. And they're in a coalition <laughs> against Pomerania. Wow. Wow. And Mohima is not doing so well. No. Doesn't look like it, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Proves legitimacy. Yeah, sure. But I think we should uh, kind of wrap it here. Wrap it up. Yeah, looks to be about that time. Alright. Oh yeah, it's 30 minutes long, isn't it? 
Yeah, close too. Yes. Wow. So that's it for this part. See you next yep. time, everyone. So long, everybody. See ya.